is assuming that you have the app downloaded on your smart device. So feel free to walk through this with us with your smart device. Okay, so when you first open it up, look at the picture on the far left, that's what you're going to see. You're going to see the Bible in digital form. That is the Bible, and you can go to the book of the Bible that you want, the exact verse, everything, as well as whichever translation you want. So you're going to pop up, you're going to open it, you're going to see the Bible there. And then look at that number one arrow. That is where you ensure that you are logged in. So you've got to make sure you have a login if you want to give online or if you want to join any of the group chats that go on on there. You'll need to have a, create a login for yourself. All right, down to the number two, you're going to see tabs at the bottom of the app, and on the far right, you see the giving tab. So if you want to give online, you're going to click on the giving tab. That brings us to the middle picture, and the number three arrow, that is where you put in the amount. Whatever amount that you feel prompted to give, that's where you enter it there. And then down to 3A, you can set up how frequently you want to do that, if it's a one-time uh, tithe or if you want to set up weekly or reoccurring you can do that as well you can also split the funds to more than one area as you see right by that three point a arrow number four is where you select specific areas for that money to go to you see a drop down menu there just click that drop down menu and that brings us to the picture on the far right that's what the drop down menu looks like and there's all these different areas that you can give specifically for and if you are unsure of what area you want to give to and you just want to give to the general operations and leave it to the discretion of the uh, church to decide what to do with those funds, you can just put tithe down there as you see it listed there. You can also choose other giving and there's a section, a note section where you can specify what to do with it. And then it'll bring you to this next screen. It's going to look like this. Again, the number one arrow lets you uh, that's where you put in your account information to where you're going to pull the funds from. The number two area, arrow is that add a note, just like you would on a check on the, on the memo line. That's where you would put the note there if you want it to go to a specific area. Number three, I can't see that far. Oh, that's just what the note thing looks like when you open it up. And then click give, and that's about it. If you have any questions on how to do that, feel free to, after the service or any time, just pull me aside and I'm happy to walk you right through it. Uh, you can do that downstairs during the potluck as well.